Good morning. Today is lesson is 10.5. Area of a trapezoid. Our essential question, how can you find the area of trapezoids? Any parallelogram that can be divided into two trapezoids with the same shape and shot size. The bases of the trapezoid, B1 and B2, form the base of the parallelogram. The area of each trapezoid is half the area of the parallelogram. So the area of a trapezoid is half the product of its height and the sum of its bases. So area equals half times B1 plus B2 times height. So, so if you remember when we were doing the um, triangle, right? The triangle was supposed to be area equals half times base times height. And a lot of you were getting confused because you're like, well, half times that. But really, essentially, you know, one times that is one, and then you're dividing by two. So I had you guys kind of rewrite that one to say area equals base times height divided by two. So I'm gonna kind of rewrite this one too, just because I think it's a slight bit confusing. So I would say area equals the base one plus the base two times the height, and then you're gonna divide that by two. So you'll add base one to base two, okay? Then you're gonna times the height, and then you're gonna divide that answer by two, and that's how you're gonna get the area of a trapezoid. Okay, so we're gonna write the formula. So they have the formula like this, the half base one base two times height. So they have a half times, so base one plus base two in this one, because base one is nine meters and then 1.6. So I'm gonna add those together and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna times the 0. 0.6. So if I take 2.5, so 1.6 plus 0. 0.9 is 2.5, and I'm gonna multiply the 0. 0.6 and I'm gonna get 1.5. And then 1.5, it says times, but I mean, I know that's kind of confusing, but one times that is 1.5, and then two times that is two, so you get 1.5, essentially divided by two, right? And when you do that, you get 0.75. So the area of the table is 0.75. Okay, let's keep going. So let's find the area of this trapezoid. So um, again, area is base one times base two, so right here. I've got 9.4 and I've got 4.6. So I'm going to add those two things together, 4.6 and 9.4. And then whatever I get there, I'm going to multiply by the height, which is 3.5 um, centimeters. So 4.6 plus 9.4 is 14. And then when I multiply it times 0.35, I get, um, whoops, I get 7. Whoa, sorry, I get 7. And then 7 times 3.5 is 24.5, so 24.5 centimeters. Let's do the next one. All right, example two. The area of a trapezoid is 702 inches. We're gonna find the height. So now we know the whole area, so we've got the area answer, right? And we know the two bases, but we don't know the height. So we're gonna just plug in what we know. So for A for area, we're gonna plug this in. We still have our half. We know our bases is 20, and then we know our other base is 34 and then we're going to multiply it times the height, which we don't know. So 20 plus 34 is 54. Okay, so now um, divide that by half. 54 divided by half is 27. And then to isolate the, the H, I'm going to multiply or divide both sides by 27, right? So if I divide both sides by 27, I get rid of, because um, remember we're isolating the variable, I get rid of this and I'm left with just my H on this side, and 702 divided by 27 is 26, so my height is 26. Analysis, explain why the formula for the area of a trapezoid contains the expression B1 plus B2. Well, the formula is based on the area of a formula for a parallelogram, so A equals base times height, that's what we did on Monday. When a parallelogram is divided into two congruent trapezoids, its base is formed two bases, and the trapezoid B1 and B2, so the base of the parallelogram is base one times base two, because remember we can cut this in half and it'll be two parallelograms. Okay, so let's find the area of a trapezoid. So we've got, I'm going to stay with our formula for now because it's easier, but just think of it as this half is just dividing it by two, right? So my base one, if I look over there, my base one is three and my base two is six and my height is four. Whoops. So <clears throat> three plus four is nine and then nine times four is um, Nine times four is 36, and then I divide that by two, and I get 18. Okay, the rest you're gonna do on your own or with a partner. 
um, or you can work with me if you need to. Good luck.